over 51 kilograms. Please aim to the right. From India, Bobby Luciana, Chilao Dalve. Box. Round one. in there. No, no, 
Francia, no jodí, no jodí. ¡Stop! Blue, no jodí. Box. that the amateur fighters are better behaved than pro ones, not all the time. So there's the scores, and it's a 3-2 split. Shanley has got it with three of the judges. Linkerford has got it with the, with the other two. Not the easiest round to score. Most certainly, but both boxers having success in their preferred territory. And no prizes for guessing the tactics, given the contrasting stature. There's a wonderful lead left hand, but then look at the bobbing and weaving from Chanu to evade the subsequent follow-up and then you see her looking to get to work with arcing punches that right hand over the top really began to come into play for her and this was the closing stages of the round where she forced her opponent back and landed a couple of clean shots at short and mid distance so again who will be able to continue to employ their tactics in this contest between boxers both flyweights but markedly different statures very different, could hardly be more different. Chanu of India in the red there, just just stepping into the pocket using a nice bit of a bit of head movement. She's she's wearing the red link of her boxing for Russia in the blue. As you can see, is the taller and can try and use that jab on the inside, moving into southpaw there. Link of her. But you've got to get some snap on that jab when you throw it ideally. To stop Chanu coming in, you've got to hit her hard. And good head movement again there from the from the Indian fighter. As I said, at this level, you, you don't just walk in in a straight line with your with your head still. You can't do that. That's no good at all. These fighters are far too skillful to, to attempt that kind of basic approach. Right hand there for for Chanu. Linkovic, again, just switching between stances there, trying to give Chanu something to, to think about as she comes forward. Again, there's our big right hand. Linkovic has taken it, taken it fine, but again there, it just pushes her back towards the the ropes on the near side and she almost turns her back and, and runs away from Chanu there but there's no escape from her really she cuts up the ring okay sometimes chases Linkover around a little bit who I think might be beginning to feel this slightly midway through round two just the way she stepped off to the right hand side there and threw a threw a, a, a right hook there's a difference between punches that you throw with with balance and and intent and ones which you throw in a little bit of a panic just hoping to keep your opponent off and Stop. the Russian fighter for me is just veering into that kind of territory in the second round but this is still very even of course as we know there was split scoring in that first round but there's a good one too good one too good distance there from from Chanu who again is just always putting Linkover under pressure with that with that front foot Linkover with the one two into the gloves there but that didn't deter Chanu at all who comes through with another big right hand into the final minute of round two she just leans on and bangs away to the body switches with a little step to the right and again just hammers that left hand down the middle and, and that's what I mean about Linkova becoming just a little bit disorganized not panicky just a little bit disorganized a bit flustered good short right hand on the inside there from the Russian but this is a this is a Chanu round, and given that she took three scorecards in the in the opening round, she could open up a 20 points away to that here with three of the judges, and that's that's significant because you then have a mountain to climb if you're if you're on the on the other end of it. I think this is going to be a clear 10-9 with with all five of the judges. To be honest with you, as we head into the final 10 seconds of 
of round two. And there's that head movement again. There's that head movement. She's right on the borderline of, of range. Tempts you in and moves that head really, really well. And, and we've been watching it all week with the Indian fighters, Ron, as we just wait for the wait for the scorecards to come up. I don't want to jump the gun too much, but that was an easy round to score. And what is what is significant there as well is the 10-8 from, from Malaysia. They come forward fighters, a lot of the fighters we see representing India, but there's more to it than that. Most certainly, it's not just pressure, it is educated pressure, and as Chanu is demonstrating, her head movement in the pocket has been eye-catching, and for my money, she won that second round going away, and perhaps from the Russian boxer's point of view, the punches that were landing, the more the round went on, the more pronounced an effect they were having. Chanu, really aggressive, and as for Linkova, well, she's got that deficit to overturn for three of the five judges. And I'm just not sure, she's, unless she does something drastically different, that she's going to physically be able to find the energy that she needs to keep this little buzzsaw of a boxer at bay. Buzzsaw is right, and she needs, a, she needs a stoppage, basically. She needs an absolutely huge round in this final round to, to turn this around. Linkova, that is, she's in the blue representing Russia. Chani has just seen her teammate Gatika won gold. She's in the in the red of India. They've got seven fighters through to finals. And unless something goes very wrong for Chanu in this final three minutes here, then it's going to be two out of two. Two gold medals. Linkova looking to try and just set her feet and put a bit more on her punches, but you don't get much time to, to set yourself against Chanu, who again just gets onto the inside there. Let's her hands go and shoots that right hand up to try and find the the head of the of the taller opponent and does it to to good effect. Ditching him with that overhand right again. If there's ever a kind of lull in proceedings, she'll just get her feet into range and throw it. Other fighters would throw a jab in that kind of situation. She will just throw that almost lead right hand. She caught. A right hand from Linkova as she was on her way in there a few seconds ago over on the ropes. But those kinds of, of connections for the Russian have been a little bit too few and far between. There's that lead right hand again. It's, it's a really interesting punch that. She kind of turns quite square and then just shoots it up from the waist. But it works. It works. And, and most of what she has done has worked in this fight. Linkova has put it in. You can't say that she that she had and, and gave a decent account of herself in that first round particularly, but again that, that short right hand there, just a slightly different angle on that one. Gets through for Chanu. Linker for trying to pile that one two in. But this is slipping away from her now. And I think she realizes it. Turns Southpaw briefly, lead left hook there from Chanu. And always, always those feet just nice and quick, never too far apart. Stop. They cross every now and again in her, in her eagerness Stop. really to, to pursue her opponent. But I think she knows now that she is, she's on a home stretch here. She's in that kind of rare situation where the sand is running through the timer, and you are but seconds away from achieving something really significant. But wanted to finish with a real flourish there, pinning Linkova back on the ropes and, and letting her hands go in that neutral corner. Away to our right-hand side, Linkova just, just leaning in as, as kept going. The Russian coaches, I don't think, will have anything particularly to complain about with, with this performance. But as we said at the very beginning, this was always a question of whether she could find a way to weather the pressure from Chanu, whether she would be able to catch her on the way in hits her hard enough basically to gain her to gain her respect in terms of her punching power and unfortunately for her it didn't quite turn out to be the case and that's another very effective performance from India very good indeed and the manner in which she was able to get into her preferred punching terri territory quicker on the draw that right overhand right we're just seeing it during the course of this replay sequence, but the majority of her success coming from that backhand. And then when she got her opponent pinned to the ropes, she replied non-stop pressure behind accurate Ladies punching. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Hizba, winner of Hawks with the unanimous decision. From the red corner, Babiris Yana, Chaun Naldem, India. 
So Chanu gets it as we knew that she would at the conclusion of that 51 kilo final. And that means it's two out of two for India. Two gold medal bouts have both been converted by their fighters, Gatika and Chanu. And you look at the final round there has gone her way with all five.